We're here at the field. It's probably really loud. Just walk away. Okay, we're here at the field. Um, getting ready to launch. I am warming up my motor, which I usually don't do, but I just painted the exhaust, and part of the cure procedure was a 10 minute idle, 10 minute cooldown, 20 minute idle, 20 minute cooldown, and then a 30 minute, but I'm just gonna fly at that point, so that's what's going on back there. Today I'm gonna be doing the part two of the Hero 7 versus the Osmo action. So, um, when I did the first part, I didn't know the Osmo action, like, guess I knew it was on 1080p, 30 frames a second, but I didn't know how to change it, and I was trying to fly, so I just flew with it like that. So you saw that video, Osmo action still did awesome, but I want to do a direct side-by-side, -side. so we're going to put both cameras in 1080p, 60 frames a second, and use their stabilization. So the Hero 7 uses the um, Hyper Smooth, and the Osmo action uses the, I can never remember, uh, Rocksteady, uses Rocksteady. So um, it's going to be a direct side-by-side -side comparison. I'm really excited to see how this works. I think the launches will be much smoother, and any shake you get in the uh, chase camera, I think will be eliminated because the, uh, the stabilization locks on the horizon, which you get a really good view of uh, from a chase cam. So I'm excited to try it out. We're going to get in the air. I don't know what the plan is. We're meeting some other people out here. So it might be an XC. It might be just blasting around this field. Either way, it's the first time I've flown in three weeks. The weather has finally cooperated, and it has coincided with a night that I am free, which is very rare anymore. So, um, I'm excited to fly, man. Let's get in the air. Peace. All right. We're recording. I'm going to go up. My buddies are not here yet. But I'm going to go up real quick and just buzz around this field since I think we're planning a cross country anyways. And NXC would be not great footage for testing dual chase cams. So, I'm just going to test the chase cams, buzz around this field. we got a big field here, so i got plenty of room to... Do a little yanking and banking, maybe go up and do a few wing overs or whatever and check it out. So, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And Kyle's getting here right now. <laughs> God damn it. I'm gonna tell him I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm gonna go up real quick and do this dual chase cam thing. And then I'm gonna come back down. So take your time getting ready. The wait will calm down. We'll have still have time to go to DYB and back, so no rush. Yep. Alright. No one's rushing. That's that's the key. I hate Getting here and rushing. Whoa! Oh shit! I got my, I have my uh, safe start on. There we go. Give it a second. Okay. So here's the setup. PPG smoke chase cam. It's covered in ants. GoPro Hero 7. Another PPG smoke chase cam. DJ Osmo action. And both. Oh no, did I just hit a button? I'm gonna check. No, it's recording. Both are recording in 1080p, 60 frames a second. 1080p, 60, 1080p, 60 frames a second. And, um... Dude, that wind hasn't moved at all. I was kiting earlier. It's perfect. I'll be right back down. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, 1080p, 60 frames a second. Because that's the most common GoPro setting that I use. Oh yeah, I also just replaced my brass ring again on my exhaust, and the fucking, um, what do you call it, the, um, the exhaust flange was ruined again. I didn't get 35, 40 hours out of it, like everyone says you're supposed to, so bummer, I had to replace the flange, and the brass ring, and the springs, but whatever, I'm all fresh again. Something is, no, we're good. Alright, here we go. Okay, we got full power, she's warm. First launch in three weeks. Did I just jinx it? There we go. That little breeze. All right, well most nerve-wracking part of a launch with two chase cams is you really don't know if you've got both chase cams. So, they're both back there. We're good to go. Cool, man. And it is smooth up here. I'm not going to go down low right at this tree line because I predict there's going to be a rotor there. That's where the wind's coming from. So we'll go over in this field and, uh, see what's up. But yeah, man, this is our field. We just call it Volvo Field because it's near a Volvo plant. Um, 
and the county lets us fly here, and um, they're building something, so they've got a parking lot and stuff like that over there. A little bit bumpy right here. Yeah, man, it's uh, it's a cool little field to buzz around in. I like a field that you can show up to, and even worst case, you can't leave your LZ, you can still fly around a bit. So you can, you can come here and, you know, get some altitude and practice some acro if you wanted to, or just buzz around the field and rip around some trees, although you really wouldn't want to go down here. That looks wet. You'd live, but it'd ruin your day. All right. Try to get a look at the city. Okay. The Arsenal seems to be flying straight. Oh, and the Hero 7 is flying straight. We're in business. All right. So I'll also mention that PPGSmoke.com, the guys who make these chase cams, supplied me with the Osmo to do this test. So the Hero 7 is mine. The Osmo uh, was given to me to do this test, and the idea was just see what the ultimate chase cam setup is. So these are the two, well, of the two top uh, action cams on the market. You could argue they're the top two. Um, prior to the Osmo coming out, it was pretty much just GoPro. Sony had something, but the Hero 7 was next level with their hyper smooth. Then the Osmo came out, and they introduced Rocksteady. And so I'm not going to get into all that. You can do a Google or a YouTube search and look at a thousand videos comparing the two cameras. But there are positives and negatives to both concerning color, concerning how much is cropped out to get that stabilization, a whole bunch of things. And these cameras do a whole bunch of things, but they're very, very closely matched. And the whole point of this video is to see which one is a better chase cam. So you know, let's go down low and check it out. About to fly through my own wake right here. Uh, I think I went over it. Yeah, I went right over it. The other plus to this is if we go on a cross country later, I don't have to bring two, two chase cams with me. I don't like launching and landing with them. I like being unencumbered when I fly. Why do you make YouTube videos then? I don't know. All right, a little close counter with this tree. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. It's nice out here, man. Three weeks of no flying. This has killed me. You guys probably, well, maybe not. Maybe you're not wondering, but you might notice. I've not been posting recently. Um, I'm sitting on a ton of footage. The issue is that, I number one, I don't have time to edit it. Editing takes a ton of time for me. I'm not very good at it. One video, a 30 minute video, takes me easily six hours to edit. Or, well, if it's a simple one, maybe three hours, you can do it in a night. But if I have multiple camera angles and I'm trying to get a little creative, it could take me 12 hours to edit a damn video, so. Um, for me, it's relaxing and it's fun, and I'm, you know, I'm not trying to go quick or anything like that. But I don't have the time to do it. That I don't have time to fly. <clears throat> and on top of that, that the area of South Carolina, the Charleston area where we are, I've only lived here for two and a half years. But the weather in the summer is shit. It is nice in the morning when you have to go to work. Maybe, maybe it's nice, or maybe it's really foggy. And then it is really garbage. At night, you have these pop-up thunderstorms everywhere. So even if it's nice right by you, you can't you can't go anywhere. Because number one, you don't want to be up with a thunderstorm. And number two, you don't know if it's raining where you're going or raining on the way to where you're going. Uh, it's a total pain in the ass. So, uh, yeah, man, it's just been a whole lot of not flying, a whole lot of other shit going on with life that is just, uh, 
got me bumped out, but things are getting better. I'm flying. I'm happy. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I'm just so grateful to be flying right now, you guys. So I thought I'd squeeze this dual chase cam video in real quick before I go beat up my buddy Kyle. I think we're going to try a little XD over to the uh, airport I usually fly out of. Uh, I'm going to get down there now and uh, get reset up and get over there. So the only issue with the chase cam I have is that the line length from the factory, at least for this wing, is exactly the same length as the lines for the wing, which means that when I land, the chase cam is swinging to my motor and my prop. So uh, I have to either shorten them, which I don't want to because I like to angle or lengthen them, and I don't have, haven't lengthened them yet. So they dig my prop when I land, they hit it. So I've got to land motor off for sure. Um, but, oh, uh, yeah, man. Woo! That would have been the landing right there. I gotta nail that. That's directly for the wind. Um, so yeah, that's the only complaint I have. Uh, I can't wait to check out this footage. You guys are looking at it right now, but I'm excited to see the color differences and the uh, uh, stabilization. Hi, man. I'm gonna come in for a landing and uh, go right back up. Didn't hit. <laughs> yeah. Ow! That was a perfect landing with the chase cams. That's what I'm excited about. I've had a few perfect landings in my day, by the way. But look at they landed right there. They didn't hit me or nothing. Maybe that's a secret. I had them both off center. Um, what was I? One, two, three lines to the right. So just encroaching on where my brake is. And by the way, I have it hooked on the D line, not the brake. Don't ever hook it on your brake. So. Three over, and then one in for the D-line, so you're not on the trailing edge. Um, and it swung past me. I don't think it hit me. I, th I thought I saw it swing right past me, but cool, man. I'm excited about that. That worked out great. Just keep your lines out of them. Oh, my gosh. This is all working out. This is all working out right here. The flying gods have seen that I have not flown in three weeks. They're being very patient with me. So, yeah, aside from this, I don't see there being another benefit to flying with two chase cams. Um, so, yeah. All right, man. I'm going to go put these cameras away and throw the Hero 7 on my head. Head back up. I'm out. Thanks for watching. Oh, my God, dude. Three weeks of no flying. I know, dude. It's probably been, I mean, what, a month? A month and a week or so for me? Yeah, that's rough, man. That's not good either. It's not safe. No, you want to keep your skills sharp. Yeah. All right, what's the plan for hopping over there as far as uh, I'm gonna go, let's, yeah, let's gain a little altitude over these trees. It doesn't take much, maybe another five, 600 feet, and then uh, we'll glide into the airport. And when we get there, when we get there, don't cross over where the planes will be coming in to land or take off. Yep. And remember, the pattern's at 1,000 feet. Okay? Yep, I got you. All right. This is 1500, so if we come into the airspace at this altitude, we're safe. Alright. Right behind you. Alright. I'm gonna go off to the left, go over these fields out here, and keep my LZ. Did you see where that plane went? Yeah, he kept going out towards the lake. And I saw another GA fly over, but he was at like three or 4,000 feet. He was going towards Charleston. What's up? Said my back is sweating. I'm not used to that. A t-shirt at 2,000 feet. I know. <laughs> you have it all are going? Yeah, we're at we're we're plenty high. Plenty plenty high. We're at 1,800 feet, so we're 800 feet above the uh, traffic pattern. So we can just come in right right like this, cross the runway on the left side, and just glide into that field. Yes, did, we, man. did we ever fly out of DYB together? Yeah, we did. Okay. I'm excited. I love flying places and landing. <laughs> Cross country, baby. Yeah. Harris is going to be so jealous. <laughs> He's all about it, man. 
Oh yeah, baby. It's a beautiful day. Oh yeah, it's awesome. Alright, so they have flags down there, but I'm pretty sure the wind is going right down the runway. Or no, it's not. I can see the smoke over here. I'm gonna land cross. Alright, man, I'm gonna line up and go down and feel for the wind and see what's up. Sounds good. That bad ass. Yeah, what's up? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Where are you at? Right above you, dude. Oh. All right, let me... I'll tell you exactly what way the wind's going, but that landing I just did was fine. You could land right along this grass path here and be totally fine. It's going to take me three years to get down there. I'm trying to do some turns to complete altitude, but... You're going to hit a little bit of bumps over the trees, but that's just... It's nothing. You'll be fine. <laughs> You're still way up there. I know, dude. I've been spiraling for a while now. Put that wingtip down. <laughs> yeah, dude, this mode section here, this is where you want to land. Sounds like a plan. Let me, let me tell you exactly the way the wind's blowing. Here's some grass. It's a little shifty. All right, I'm going to get out of your way and give you this whole grass area to land. So how often do you land with your motor on? Uh, I don't usually. You can if you want. It's just like doing a touch and go. Just make sure you remember to kill it. And don't flip the throttle. You got it, bro. Like a butterfly with sore feet. Uh, all right there. Uh, you sound like some other YouTuber I know. <laughs> Beautiful. And you landed right into the where the, where the wind was uh, coming from, uh, too. I did this last time, too, here. Right on the face. That's all right. The wind is coming out of that direction. Okay. I kind of felt me it was turning me that way a little yeah. bit, which yeah. was but 100% expecting. You're better off doing that after you land than flying into the... Second here, before you... Down. I'll do this so when you wrap it up, it'll be straight. I yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, that's all nice and mode over here. Yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, hell. Why don't we fly out of here today, dude? What the heck? Uh, I don't... I don't <laughs> <laughs> potentially, we had a whole bunch of people coming. And that Volvo field's way nicer. Volvo field's perfect. You can land any direction. You can take off any yeah. direction. There's no planes to worry about. All right. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. All right. Well, I wasn't really making the video, but maybe this will be special features. Kyle and I just did uh, an XC to the um, airport that I usually fly out of. So we're at Somerville. It's like a six-mile flight. Came here, landed, um, beautiful mowed grass, as if they expected us to come. So I said, what are you supposed to do when you land at an airport <clears throat> and they're closed, there's no coffee or anything? Just gonna take a selfie and leave, I guess, so. Uh, get back up in the air, because there's no fun flying on the ground. Still rolling. We're on our way back to the air. So we kind of have a, have to launch out of an inconvenient spot at this airport to get the wind in our favor. Got to launch through all this garbage. It's not that long. Um, it's just not as nice as the mode field. A little warm on the ground. Hey yo. We got to properly maintain motor power. Hundred dollars. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Fire ants all over my risers. Both of them. Oh my god, dude. This sucks. Shut 
gotta stack up. <laughs> you can never get them all either. I've done this before. I think I get them all. I don't like bugs anyways, but especially I don't like ones that bite you in the air. Hoping my feet are not covered in fire ants. Here we go. See you up there, buddy. So Kyle just dropped some news on us. He's moving to Illinois, so we're losing a flying buddy. Don't fly in the cornfields, man. What an outro to this video. Hi, Harrison. <laughs> Harrison's not leaving, so we're not sad about Harrison. Bye, Kyle. See ya. <laughs>